Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, I want to ask you three questions that I think will really help you along your way in becoming a cybersecurity professional with a few lessons that I have learned over the past few years as well. But before I get into these three questions, I, there is a short story I want to share with you. A, a few days ago, I saw that Insider PhD had mentioned why she decided to get a PhD and this got me thinking, which really wasn't hard for me because my motives for doing a PhD were pretty plain. I knew somebody who once told me I couldn't do it, so I kind of just was like, you know what, I want to prove them wrong, show them I can, and I signed up, and I remember going in to the school, and the first few days that I was there meeting with a bunch of different professors, they all kind of said the same thing. If you don't have the right motives, you're not going to make it through this program. And I remember thinking, that's all the more fuel I need, I'm going to make it through, and there's nothing anybody can do to stop me. I made it through, but I think that they were right. I went through the program, but I've never really done anything that required me to need to know any of the stuff that I learned or even have that advanced degree. It was kind of pointless in the end because I don't do anything that would require me to have gone to school for so long. But I do remember there being a book we had to read that I think would be really helpful for you guys to make sure that this is the right field for you and you don't end up wasting your time kind of like I did. As I go through these questions, I want you to actually write them down and give yourself maybe five minutes to think about your answer, write down your answer, because I'm going to want you to come back to these on days that are hard for you and you're really not feeling motivated. So let's go ahead and jump into the first question. Why do you want to be a penetration tester or a bug bounty hunter? Is it for you? Is it because you are interested in the field of cybersecurity or is it because you just think the job sounds really cool or maybe you just don't know what else to do so you think you're going to pursue bug bounty hunting or penetration testing? Your answer to this question should also define your goals. Give yourself some time, think about your answer, pause the video, and once you have written down your answer, then come back for question number two. As you answer question number two, I think you need to be also thinking through this is defining your goal or your answer to question number one. And question number two is why should you continue practicing and studying every day? Your answer to this question should be motivational to you specifically. On those days you don't want to keep going and you don't want to keep on practicing or maybe you want to skip looking at how a specific exploit works, you can go back and read your answer to question number one and your answer to question number two, and they should remind you about why you're pursuing cybersecurity in the first place and keep you motivated. And question number three, what is your desired outcome? I remember that first week being on campus, the professors explaining that we needed to be thinking about our end goal or the dissertation and what we wanted to get out of the process all the way from the beginning before we ever even started. Well, you need to be thinking, what kind of job do you want to have? Do you want to work with malware? Do you want to be a penetration tester? Do you want to be a bug bounty hunter? Do you want to teach? You need to have an end goal and that's going to kind of help you figure out what path you are going to take. When you think about the end of your journey and where you want to be when you very first start, this is really going to help you cut down on time and deciding what to study and where to go and pursue your goals in an orderly fashion. So think about your end goals from the beginning and just a tip for you, just know that your goals might change and your answers to some of these questions might change a little bit and you can refine them as you go through. I actually think that will be helpful for you. The more you learn, the more you might be able to refine your goals and your answers to these questions. So it might be something you want to do maybe every six months to help keep you motivated and to make sure you're on the right track. Thanks for watching.